we need to expand tan of x in powers of f of x minus pi by 4 up to 4 terms. So let's take the function to be tan x and if I add and subtract pi by 4 to this x then it doesn't matter. So let me add and subtract pi by 4 to this x. To write this in the form of f of a plus h, let me consider this to be a and this to be our h. And then by Taylor's theorem, we write this fx to be equal to f of a plus h times f dash a plus h square f double dash a divided by 2 factorial plus h cube f triple dash a divided by 3 factorial up to so on. So let's consider only these four terms and let me mark this as 1. So now we need to evaluate all these four terms. For that the function is tan of x and then the value of the function at x equal to pi by 4 is just put here x equal to pi by 4 we get tan of pi by 4 that is equal to 1, right? And now the first derivative of fx that is the derivative of tan x which is secant square x. And writing this in terms of tan, so this is equal to 1 plus tan square x. Very fine. And then f dash pi by 4 becomes 1 plus tan square pi by 4. So this is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. Then the second derivative, so we are derivating this. So this is 0 plus, this is 2 tan of x into the derivative of tan x that is secant square x. And writing this in terms of tan, so this is 2 tan x and secant square x is 1 plus tan square x. So this is equal to 2 tan of x plus 2 tan cube x. And then putting the value of x equal to pi by 4 we get over here 2 into 1 plus 2 into 1 cube. So that becomes 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4. And now the third derivative we get 2 secant square x plus 2 times. Okay, so this is 3 tan square x into the derivative of tan x that is secant square x. So 2 secant square x becomes 2 plus 2 tan square x plus this is 6 tan square x and secant square x again can be written as 1 plus tan square x. So we get here 2 plus 2 tan square x plus 6 tan square x that becomes 8 tan square x plus 6 tan the power 4x. And now finding the third derivative of fx at x equal to pi by 4 we get 2 plus 8. So this becomes 1 square plus 6 times 1 the power 4. So that is equal to 2 plus 8 plus 6 that becomes 16. Now let's put all these values in the first equation and also to put the value of a and h. Let's put the value of a and h first. So f of x is equal to f of pi by 4 plus h that is x minus pi by 4 into f dash pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 whole square into double derivative at pi by 4 divided by 2 factorial and then x minus pi by 4 cube into triple derivative at x equal to pi by 4 divided by 3 factorial plus so on. Just consider 4 terms only and now putting the values okay f of pi by 4 is 1. Then is x minus pi by 4. First derivative at x equal to pi by 4 is 2. So here I am writing 2 plus x minus pi by 4 whole square into the second derivative. So that is 4 divided by 2 factorial and this is 2. So I am cancelling this and we get 2 again here. So writing here 2 plus x minus pi by 4 whole cube into the third derivative 
that is 16 divided by 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 3 into 2 that is equal to 6. So cancelling this to be as 3 and 8. So we are getting here 8 divided by 3 plus so on. So this is a required expansion of fx which is equal to tan of x in the powers of x minus pi by 4. So this is what is required in the powers. Okay, thank you.